If you see these dogs in your front yard, huh, just know upstairs I'm going hard. Bing bong. Trouble Strikes in Paradise, YouTube. Um, yeah, we got a, a problem, man. I've been seeing it for the last couple days. I came outside and the boss has been leaking coolant. Look at this bug. He had a nerve to go right up under my bumper. That's crazy. But nah, the boss has been leaking coolant, so today we about to take a we about to take it apart and find out exactly where the leak is coming from. Well, hopefully we can. So y'all stay tuned for that like this video. Let's do it. Jack this guy up, man. Oh boy. Always something, boy. I promise you. It's always something. All right, cool. As you can see, we got the car jacked up. And look at that, man. Look at that, man. Are you crazy? Look at that. That is crazy. Yeah, we gotta. It shouldn't. Well, with that much coolant leaking, it shouldn't be that hard to find where it's coming from. But let's continue the video, man. Make sure we can uh, figure out where this leak is coming from. YouTube so as you can see I believe <clears throat> I believe the leak is coming from one of these or this line right here the one that's uh, on the right side I believe that's where it's coming from I can't really see behind the um, what you call that thing yeah I can't really see behind it but, but I think it's that line which are connected to these two things right here. Yeah, I believe it's one of them lots. So, well, this one right here on the on the right side. So, I gotta figure out, I guess, how to replace it or the best way to replace it. Anybody even know what that line is called? I have no idea what that line is called, but I believe that's where my cooling leak is coming from. So, yeah, we gotta uh, figure out a way to do that. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna go about it. I gotta do some research on the computer to figure out what that line is called. But yeah, once I figure out, I'm pretty sure it's like a cooling line or something like that. I'm gonna go do some research on the computer and find out. Uh, YouTube, I think I found out what it is. I think it's uh engine oil cooler i believe these are the exact same lines that i seen when i was up under the car now i'm not like i said i'm not for sure so if you think if you see me going about this wrong um just let me know in the comments if i'm going about this wrong but from the looks of it i think this is exactly what our part is I believe is um i believe these are the exact lines that i seen um up under the car but let me uh let me look at some more pictures. Yeah, I definitely think these are the same lines. Let's see. Uh, yeah. 
I had to go back under there and be sure, but I think these are the same exact lines. Like, the same lines where Coolin is looking from, whatever. I believe that it's $163, god damn. But yeah, I think this is it. I think so, I think it's the, I didn't even know Boster 2 had an engine oil cooler. But I think that's what it is though. So, yeah, I believe it's them lines exactly right there. So, I do a little bit more research on this, but I think I found out our issue. Now how I go about replacing that, I don't know. I to call my buddies up. But yeah, I think, I think that's it. So, I think we figured that out. Like I said, I'm gonna do some more research, but for now, I think we figured that out. Stay tuned. Well, so YouTube, as you can see, I learned something new today. I didn't even, to be honest, to be totally honest, I didn't even know about the oil cooler. Like, I didn't even know Buster 2 had an oil cooler on there. Like, that's crazy, but yeah. Seems like that's where my leak is coming from. I looked it up online. It said it come from vibration and stuff like that. Engine vibration, like, uh... You know, like engine vibration or like something rubbing together against something, or or it comes from just being old. It was like it was like to be truth. Like it just come from being old. Like this car. Remember this car is 2012, so it technically makes it a 2011. So yes, yeah, it's, it's about 11 years old. So you know things happen with older cars. So especially older cars that you're trying to push a thousand horsepower through. That's that's 11 years old. Like that's insane. So yeah, like I said, this car don't really give me too many problems on on the on the maintenance side of it. So every now and then something pops up. It doesn't like it's, it don't hurt. Like I'm I don't be angry about it. It's like the car for the most part runs hard as hell for the age of it. So yeah, coolant leak. Um, I'm gonna be down for a little while, but I'm probably order the part. I don't know exactly how hard it is to install that new part, so I see it. what I usually do is when I try to test parts, I see if I can get the old one off first. If I can get the old one off, then then I, I then I know if not if I could get the new one back on, or whatever. That's usually how I do it. But yeah, just a quick video of breaking down a problem that I seen. Starting Father's Day weekend, of course, like the never a problem that happened Father's Day weekend. I didn't get a chance to drive the car none of my off days for the for the Father's Day weekend. But you know it is what it is. Um, you know they don't shoot fathers right now, so I ain't gonna go there. But nah, so yeah, just figured out what that issue was. Y'all make sure y'all um leave a like on this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you think it may be something else. Like if you think maybe it's not the oil cooler, maybe you maybe you've been through this problem before, so you might know more than me. So, like I said, uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, got a different idea of what it could be instead of what I found today. But right now, what I found today, I think that's exactly what it is. As you can see, like, like it's well, you seen from the from the video with the car running, it was hella coolant like leaking, like. I ain't never seen a stream that strong. Like that was a, a big stream of cooling. Like that was crazy. Like, but yeah, I kind of figured that if I started the car, if I started the car, that it would, um, it would kind of give me an idea and show me exactly what, where it was coming from. I was trying to like squeeze the holes to see if that would push some cooling out. But once I started the car, it let me know exactly where it was coming from, which was amazing. So. Yeah, you know, um, like I said, um, like this video, man. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Got a lot more content coming next Mustang week next month. So, yeah, man, this is boy 302. I'm up out of here. Hey, follow 302 Nightmare. Uh, fucking like, subscribe, and that's it. Comment too, bitch.